morning, good evening, good afternoon, no matter where you are, wherever you are watching this, welcome to Floating in Dreams. Today we are going to be decluttering my shoe collection. So I'm going to show you all of my shoes, but we're also going to get rid of some things. Welcome to everybody watching today's video, thank you so very much for joining me today. Today is going to be my shoe declutter slash collection video. I've got quite a lot of shoes, there are just too many, I need to get rid of some, and you're currently staring at my brown boot collection. Now the lighting in my hallway where I keep most of my everyday shoes isn't the best. So my intention is to take everything out and show you all the different categories and then talk you through what I have and doing that. But first I wanted to show you how I actually store all of my shoes um, and then we'll get to the actual declutter. And in case you're unfamiliar with my channel, then hi, welcome, my name is Maika. I mainly talk about eyeshadow palettes, Essence and Catrice reviews, and getting the use out of my makeup, but I also really enjoy fashion, and even though those videos aren't like doing the best on my channel all the time, I still really like chatting about it because fashion is for me really where everything got started. I've always had a soft spot for clothing and colors and all that, and shoes were like my OG, like first real <laughs> uh, moment where I really got into things. So that's why I have a lot and we just need to get rid of some things. So I've moved the camera a little bit so you can see how I store most of my shoes. I have two shoe racks from Ikea stacked on top of each other, each other times three. And all the way towards the left, which you can't really see in this shot, but I've got all of my black boots there, some brogues across the bottom, and then I just have all of my brown boots with some more brogues, and then this section right here, there are some more boots here, and also my sneaker collection. So that's what we're going to start the declutter off with, And but I, this, this is not everything. So welcome to my bedroom, and underneath my bed I have four drawers that I decided to have because it would be great for extra storage. And currently three of the four drawers are storing shoes. And my aim with this declutter today is to get rid of enough shoes that there's only two drawers filled with shoes so that I can use at least one other drawer for like other things. It's good to have like a random drawer in your house where you can just store stuff. So this is the drawer where I keep all of my larger, like higher, taller boots that don't really fit on the organizers in the hallway. And there's definitely a couple pairs here that I would like to put in the hallway. This is drawer number two. We have summer shoes in here. So these are all of my sandals, my wedges, espadrilles, like things that I like to wear without socks and that sort of bare your toes. And this third drawer is filled with nice shoes. Um, so high heels and also loafers. And loafers is a category that I have expanded quite a bit in the past year or so. And I would like to actually store some of these in the hallway as well. And this is the drawer that I want to empty out completely. Um, so I have, a, I have my work cut out for me. So I'm going to take you into my office so that we can start talking about the shoes that are in the hallway first. You are looking at my black boot collection and it doesn't even fit into the frame, so I know I have to get rid of things. There are a couple of staples here though that I know I cannot get rid of, and those would be anything by Dr. Martens and anything by Vagabond. Those are my two favorite shoe brands, and I think it represents the majority of the boots here, so those I'm going to select straight away. This is my favorite pair of Chelsea boots. They're very beat up. They're by Vagabond. They are their gray style boots, and I need to get those noses fixed. These ones at the front here, these patent leather pointed toe boots, are the Maya boots from Vagabond. Not going anywhere. These are also Grace boots, but then with laces. For um, Dr. Martens, I have my Emmeline boots. These are no longer sold, I believe, at the moment at least. So these are not going anywhere. My Dr. Martens Chelsea boots, which I'm not going to declutter. And I'm not going to get rid of my 1460s in the black. And now we're left with... Some of this is overflow and some of these I do still really like. These boots from End Other Stories I cannot declutter because of the square toe and they don't have that high of a heel. I've reorganized a couple things to have some shoes here together because all three here at the front now and also these two pairs are from ASOS. And I remember a couple years ago I really wanted to like have more like actual leather shoes because they are just a bit sturdier. And ASOS used to be my go-to brand because they had more affordable things. 
Now I like to invest a little bit more in my shoes, so I go and other stories or Dr. Martens or Vagabond, like I said. Those are a little bit pricier than what you will find on ASOS. But I have a couple here that I know I can get rid of. This pair here at the front with the western buckle and a little bit of a yield are lovely, so those I want to keep. But these western boots, I, I just don't wear these anymore. So these are quite low, they're very short on the ankle, and then they have the burgundy and the toe and heel cap, which is really lovely, but I just don't wear these anymore. So these I can declutter. Um, my answer to the sock boot trend was buying these from ASOS, and these are still some that I really like, even though they have a very rounded toe. But I still do really like these. These ones, I'm not really sure what to do with these. And I bought these to have a textured shoe, but these are just not that comfortable at the top. So I don't wear these as often as I should. So these I'm a little on the fence about. And these ones are sort of like... These were a replacement shoe I bought because my other ASOS Chelsea boots, which we'll see when we get to the drawers, because I've kept them around, to replace those because they just fell apart. So I bought these as a replacement. But now I have my Dr. Martens Chelsea boots and I don't really wear these. So these are gonna go. And then we just have some like things here that I bought more so for style reasons rather than anything else. These are from a brand called Sasha. They're a shoe brand here. They're like a biker boot. They have again the very short ankle length, the studs, the little tassel. These are very uncomfortable because they have a pretty high heel and you don't have that much support in the foot because uh, this gap is just a little bit too far to really keep your ankle in place. But I love these with dresses and just to like toughen it up a little bit. So I think I want to keep these. But I will be decluttering these. These are from Invito, which is a brand that went bankrupt like years ago. And I got them in their clear out sale. And I used to wear this with one particular dress, which I no longer own. So these are gonna go. And then I'm a little bit torn between these two. These are H&M. They are a faux patent leather. And they have this really, really gigantic block heel and the squared off noses. However, these are really, really comfortable. And they're sort of like my going out shoe. However, I never really go out to parties. So I'm like, do I really need these? So I'm inclined to keep these, but to not keep them in my hallway because I don't wear these enough. And to sort of keep them with the like tall boot section that you'll see in a minute. And then these ones are from Mango. They are a Western style boot, but then without any embellishments. These are comfortable, but I actually have a pair of pointed toe Chelsea boots from Vagabond that have much le nicer leather, much better quality, that I sort of kept as a spare pair to always have like a nice pair of black boots. Um, but I just need to start wearing those more and I can declutter these. So welcome to the remainder of the boots that are in my hallway, and it's a lot. We've got some burgundy, some brown neutral, some printed things. We've got glitter shoes. I mean, <laughs> I have a lot of shoes, I know, but these have all been collected over time, so don't, don't think I got all of this in like a year. I've had the same shoe size since I was 12. So some of these shoes I've had for 15 years at least. <laughs> Here again, Dr. Martens, two pairs. 1460s and 101s, not going anywhere. My brown Dr. Martin Chelsea boots, not going anywhere. These ones from Zara, I can get rid of. These are very uncomfortable. I have this pair of desert boots from Clark's, which I'm going to keep. Great spring staple. These ones from ASOS, again, and maybe. This used to be my brown pair of Chelsea boots of choice. Now that I have the Dr. Martens, I'm not sure I still need to keep these. This is a pair of Topshop boots. I used to love going to Topshop for like quirkier options. And this patent leather burgundy pair with like the piercing detail is really fun. My red River Island boots, not going anywhere. This pair of red boots are from Urban Outfitters. They're a faux leather, really fun with the snake print, but I'm a bit over the rounded toe this has and these aren't too comfortable because the faux leather doesn't really mold itself to your feet all that well. So I'm going to get rid of these. This is. One of the newest pair of shoes, I haven't even showed this in a haul yet. By the time you're watching this video, I may have shown you these. These are from Tango and I made them, like this was a pre-order item. So what some shoe brands are now doing is that you can buy the product and then it is made for you. And I didn't own a pair of 
good white boots that weren't too stark white. They're super comfortable, really nice shoes. These are from H&M and they're grey, but like the wooden heel. And these, for how high they are, are incredibly comfortable, so I'm going to keep them. Topshop faux snakeskin, but they are leather. They have a bit of a patent leather and that really cool heel again, a bit more of a western style, so I like that. Leopard print pony hair, not going anywhere. These are from ASOS. I have two pairs of blue velvet boots. And these are the ones that I like to wear the most because they're just too outlandish. And if you want to go crazy, you need to go crazy. This brushed velvet is really pretty, but like the Urban Outfitters ones, because they are quite narrow, they're not too comfortable and they don't really fold, mold to my feet. So that's why I never wear these. So those can go. These I'm going to keep. Dark green suede boots, not going anywhere. These are from Vila. Glitter boots from ASOS. Like the H&M patent leather ones that I just showed you, I'm going to put these with like party shoes, fun shoes. And then uh, these are brown suede boots from Vagabond. Love them, going to keep them. These are Western boots from Vagabond, brown, going to keep them. And then these rounded toe boots, these are from Another Stories with this really fun round heel, going to keep them. And these are like my 70s platform boots from ASOS. They are faux leather, but they're so much fun. What you're looking at right now is my sneaker collection. <laughs> I have a very modest sneaker collection because I only tend to wear them in like the spring summer season. If it gets too like wet and rainy, I don't like wearing sneakers at all. Um, I'm going to be keeping all of my Converse. I've got this tweed style. I've got the 70s high top and red low tops, which need a clean. And then none of my white sneakers are gonna go, so I have Vejas, I have these Reebok Classics, and Nike Blazers, so I have white and black, white and red, and pure white. And then I also really like my Vans, so those are not gonna go. But here, we need to make some decisions, because this is my most worn pair of sneakers. Um, they're Nike Internationalists, you can tell from the toes and how gross they look that I wear them a lot. These are starting to come apart uh, because I've worn them so much. I'm currently using them mostly for outdoor workouts, so I'm going to put them with my workout shoes. I keep them in a separate section um, that you haven't seen, which, I mean, it's workout shoes. It's not that interesting. So these I'm going to demote from my uh, actual collection, and I already know I want to buy a pair of New Balance that sort of looks similar, also in a light gray, because I have found that light gray sneakers are a staple in my wardrobe. Some sneakers that I bought, and I'm not entirely sure whether, because I just don't wear these enough. Um, so I used to own a pair of Roshis that I wore to death, and that's why I bought this pair. They are highlighter neon orange with pink. Really fun, but I just find that I don't, I don't know what to wear these with. I feel the same way about these Nike Sirens. Um, these I bought in an outlet, and these are comfortable, but because Nike is quite like narrow in the footbed, I feel that these kind of pinch me here at, if I wear them for a long walk, even though they have a very nice soft cushiony sole, so these aren't the best for my feet. So I'm decluttering those. I have room for one more pair. <laughs> so the question is, like these I never wear. These are Nike Thea's. These used to be all the rage, but I love that they are in navy. They are really cool. However, Nike Thea's, I really struggle to find my size. If I, if I bought my true size, they were too, too tight. So I sized up in these, and now the backing of it rubs uh, because my foot just kind of slips in and out of it. So maybe I should just declutter these as well. These are super impractical because they are Adidas Gazelles, really pretty, fit me really well, very comfy, but they're pink suede. <laughs> I live in a country where it rains quite regularly, so I can only wear these, like, once in a blue moon. But I do like these. I prefer these actually over the Nikes. So I'm going to keep these. Welcome to my brogues and oxfords. So if you don't know what the difference is between a brogue and an oxford, if they have this, like, detailing on the nose, on the toes, that's when it's a brogue, and if they don't have it, it's an oxford. <laughs> Just in case you were wondering. So I have a lot of really good staples here. These are all Dr. Martens. Guess what? Not going anywhere. 1461s in the patent leather and in the plain black. And then I have them in like a brogue style and in a normal brown style. 
These ones from End Other Stories, again, a pair I bought in lockdown, and these are such a good classic shoe, and I love that mock rock detail that it has. I'm going to be decluttering these. These are from ASOS, and these used to be my summer pair of black brogues, but I have since bought these ones from ASOS. And I now find that I like these just a lot better for the kind of outfits that I would be wearing these with. Plus I have those other black brogues. So keeping the silver, decluttering the black. I'm not going to get rid of my uh, dark green pair of the, I believe are these, these are called the Hembley uh, brogue from Clark's. These are really lovely. And then these, there's a reason why I don't own any of the 1461s in the cherry color from Dr. Martens, because I have these, but these are by Bronx. And I have these ones. These are for my wacky moment. So they're two-tone Oxfords with a very sharp pointed toe from and their other stories. If you want to go for that like super like dressed up kind of look, these are fun. And then I have these very old pairs. This is a pair of studded brogues from Zara that took me ages to break in, but I still love the look of these. Like if you want to add a bit more to an outfit, I would wear those. So I'm thinking, maybe I can keep both of these rather than decluttering this. So these are both maybes. These I've had for a long time. These are also ASOS, by the way. They're just good staples to have, I guess. So I've moved you to the bedroom now, and this is the drawer where I keep sort of like chunky shoes, winter boots, taller boots. That's the drawer you're looking at right now. Plus, I put some things in that drawer that I knew I kind of have to get rid of, but I don't want to. So these two pairs here are both from ASOS, and these are the kind of things that I meant when I said I used to go for ASO to ASOS for like standard black boots. This is a pair point to toe. Look at how beat up these are. These are like five, six years old. The inside of the shoe is completely wrecked. I had them resold numerous times. I just know I have another pair of Vagabond boots that I haven't worn much that are a perfect replacement for this, so these can go. Now, I want to keep an old pair of shoes around, and this pair from ASOS was my staple. Again, look at how beat up these are. But these I want to keep around to have an old shoe around, just in case. Now, things that were in here that should have been in my hallway is this pair of chunky loafers from H&M, really lovely with like the monk style buckle. And then this also needs to go into my hallway. This is a pair of chunky, higher uh, Chelsea boots from H&M as well. And I'm not sure what to do with this. <laughs> this is a pair of boots that I really like. They are H&M, they aren't real leather or anything, no real suede, but I really like the style of them. So this is a pair, again, that maybe I just need to keep in this drawer for now. And then none of my tall boots are gonna go. I have this went pair of winter boots from uh, Dr. Martens as well as these two pairs. Like, come on, these are just staples to have in your wardrobe. I have a pair of Chelsea boots with a faux uh, sheepskin lining, a pair of 1460s, some Zara tall boots. These are lovely. I This really reminds me of a pair of shoes I used to own when I was a student. And then I have a pair of like riding style boots, like horseback riding style boots, also from Zara. These aren't the best fit, but they're lovely. Two pairs from ASOS, and these are both over-the-knee boots. I have a pair of blue suede ones, or of blue velvet ones, I should say, and this is why I'm getting rid of that other pair of velvet boots, because I could wear these instead of those. And then I have a pair of suede black boots with a pointier toe and a lower heel, so these are a bit more practical, and they're very nice and warm in the winter. And then I have a pair of brown boots. These are from Omoda. These are also in a suede with a nice high chunky heel for that 70s moment. These are again like just like knee high boots. And then I have another pair of knee high boots. These are new in. Again, you may not have seen these yet. These are from Aloha's and these are really, really cool. Welcome to the summer shoes section of my shoe collection. So this is the other bin. And here I feel I can get rid of some things, but there's also some things in here that I just haven't had much of a chance to wear. Uh, for instance, these ones, these are brand new, I just got them, these are Birkenstocks, because I like these ones so much, so I wanted to go with a double strap rather than a single. These Toms I want to keep, these are sort of espadrille style, and these are also espadrilles, but then with a leopard print, so those I'm going to keep. And I'm also going to keep my leopard print sandals. These are like a more dressed up occasion sandal for me, and then these are more casual. 
I have a pair of Vagabond snake print sandals. These are a very big platform, which is all the rage again, so I'm glad I hung on to these because I've had them for years. I'm going to be decluttering this pair because I now feel I would wear my Topshop leopard print ones over this, so these can go. Another pair that can go are these really old New Look shoes. Like ASOS, New Look used to be one of my go-to brands. I've had these for years. They're like a gladiator style sandal. Really lovely, really comfortable. But they now have these two, so do I need another pair of brown sandals? I don't think so. So these two I'm going to keep. These are Topshop. These are Zara. Great. Also these ones from End Other Stories I'm going to be keeping. This is like my chunky dad sandal of choice. These are loafers now need to go into the hallway. Now I have space. These I'm going to put back into the drawer. They are mint green suede creepers. Do not recommend. Like the gazelles, they attract dirt like there's no tomorrow, so I only get like two chances a year to wear them, but I do wear them. These really old ballet flats from H&M, I'm going to declutter, these fall off my feet. These H&M yellow sandals I love, so I'm going to keep those. Because I love those so much, I got these ones with like the tie, but the tie doesn't stay put and I don't love the shade, so these can go. I have a pair of silver sandals with a chunky plastic heel from H&M. These are really lovely. Again, more of a dressed up shoe for me. Pink suede loafer style shoes from H&M. These just weren't very comfortable, unfortunately, because they have like no backing to them. So they kind of fall off your feet. So these can go. And this is what's left now. And I think that these ones from Primark, they're like laser cut brogues. They are so fun, but they're Primark. So the quality isn't the best. If I were to go for a white shoe, I would wear these Topshop grandma shoes for sure. Red high heeled sandals. These are so much fun. I think they're ASOS. These are Gurkis. I haven't worn these a lot yet, but we really haven't had the kind of weather where I would be wearing these. Then I have Mules from Zara. Really lovely, really comfortable. Don't want to get rid of those. And I think that these like strappy numbers, these are from Truffle. These are Topshop. These are H&M. These are just a fun moment to have. And they all have that cord that you can wrap around your foot. And the final part of this declutter. This is the occasion shoes plus loafers and I just cleared up enough space in my hallway that I can slot 12 pairs of loafers underneath my little organizers there. So I know I don't have to get rid of anything that is a loafer that is here I think um, because I don't have 12 pairs. Yay! <laughs> so that, that's going to clear up a lot of space because I, I got rid of enough boots sneakers and brogues that I can just do that. So this is the pair of Vagabond boots that I've been referencing that I was keeping to keep a nice pair of boots. These are going to go into everyday rotation. The nice pair of boots I'm going to keep around are these from H&M. These are really high. They're very dusty. I don't wear them a lot, but they're really, really good for like an occasion boot. Like if you want to wear a boot, but you still want to be dressed up. I'm looking at this part of the collection and I'm like, is that still me? Because I feel I have enough occasion-like shoes with the sandals I already showed you. So do I need to keep this very old pair of beat-up pumps? Um, they have a cone shape heel, a bit of a pointed toe. These have just perhaps seen the best of days. These were the kind of heels I wore when I learned to walk in heels, when I was like starting to do that. They're not super high. They have a very thick rubberized sole so you don't have any slipping, slipping accidents and I always kept these around but I have these ones which if I want to go for a black stiletto I would actually wear these. These are from Menfield so I can get rid of the brown ones. Same kind of heel here. A round toe. I've always liked how this has a bit of a higher backing so it stays on your foot really nicely but yeah those were like you know, training wheels when it comes to wearing heels and I'm confident enough to wear something that is this high. So this is my other pair of like occasion shoes that I wanna keep. These are H&M and they are baby blue suede. And I am inclined to keep the navy pair. These are from Tango and I really like the shade of this. I remember back in the day, I was really looking for like good navy shoes and I bought these and I've never been able to find anything else and these don't have anything that make them look super dated like the heel isn't too outspoken they're like a pointed toe but not too pointy so these are a good classic shoe I guess um, I also have these like incredibly high heeled sandals and that's just a style that I don't think I'll be wearing anytime soon 
So these are ASOS, these are H&M. These were also a bit of a tight fit. Like I have just found that with my wide feet, these kind of sandals just always hurt my toes and I just have better things in my summer shoe collection that I think I would wear more so than these. I don't think you can see everything, but I've sort of split things up. These are Mary Janes and then these are all loafers. And I am inclined to keep these Mary Janes, especially these ones, because I have a dress, like an occasion wear dress that I wear these with. So this is a shoe I cannot get rid of for that reason. I have houndstooth print ones. These are so cool. And they have a really cute little heel. So I think I do want to keep those. I don't wear them though. These I'm going to get rid of. These are just incredibly banged up. Um, I used to wear these. <laughs> back when I still had to like a lot of job interviews and I felt I had to wear a heel to a job interview and like a suit. I don't do that anymore. And then I have this pair of velvet gold, golden toned Mary Janes with like a block heel. These are so much fun. So those I want to keep. That all of these loafers and slingbacks are just going to go into the hallway. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pairs plus the chunky pair and this pair of new look ones makes 12 pair of loafers so I can put all of these in my hallway. So we have one empty drawer, a drawer with occasion shoes, summer shoes, and like things I don't really know where to store anywhere else. A pile of things I'm getting rid of. It's a drawer with all of my taller boots and some like heels now, like occasion sort of high heels. And here's another pile of shoes I'm getting rid of and I've decided that I'm going to get rid of these textured boots as well. And I'm trying to get everything in one shot, but this is what the hallway now looks like. I went from three to two shelves for sneakers over here. I put all of my loaf all of my loafers along the bottom here, all of my brogues on the second tier. Then I have brown boots, like some colorful boots right here at the top. I have like neutral colored ones, and then my crazy blue velvet uh, shoes are hidden behind the jackets. I've got all of my red and burgundy boots at the top and then I have three rows of black boots towards the end. And that's pretty much it. Those are all of the shoes in my shoe collection. I really hope you enjoyed watching today's video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more by me. I make several videos a week so I hope you'd like to come back for more and then I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye-bye!